Welcome to Mahara. Today we're going to be reviewing how to set up your new Mahara page. You should log into Mahara using your UCSB Net ID and your UCSB Net ID password. Once you've logged into Mahara, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your new profile. Mahara has the ability to set up profile, portfolio, views, and group pages that are all separate and can be used differently. The first thing is setting up the profile and can be done by clicking the green profile tab in the top left corner. When you click the profile tab you'll have the opportunity to enter in four types of basic information. Information about yourself, contact information, messaging information, and other general information. You can find these fields by clicking on the top four edit profile tabs. Remember you must enter information in the fields that are orange. Once you've entered your information in your, for your profile, click Save Profile. This will save all the information you have entered so that you can access it later and choose if you want to display it on your main profile page. To create your main profile page, click the Edit Profile Page button in the gray tabs menu. Once you've done this, you're going to add a few things that are called blocks to your main page. As you can see below, I've already added an RSS feed block. An RSS feed can be linked up to your favorite blog or news source. To add the blocks, you simply choose which type of block you would like to add, and you drag it down into the window. I'm going to add contact information. To add the contact information, I drag it down. I can select any of the contact information that I had entered from the contact information tab under the edit profile menu. I can select which things I would like to show, and then I can save. Once I've done this, the information that I've selected will then appear from the information that I've entered in the edit profile area. <coughs> Remember that the edit profile is different from the edit profile page. You can enter information about yourself in the edit profile area, and then you can add that information to your page using the edit profile page. Let's add a couple other things. We can also add personal information. You can also edit your block title. Save. You can add the groups that you're members of, which is a very handy thing to link out to other places in Mahara. You can add people you're friends with. Unfortunately, I haven't had any friends on Mahara yet, but that will soon change. You can add resume information if you'd like. You can upload files, videos, folders, images, just about anything you like. Then, the last editing for your view is to click the Change My View Layout button in green in between what your page looks like and the blocks that you're adding to your page. Go ahead and click the Change My View. Excuse me. From here you'll be able to select how many columns you would like, and change the width of the columns. I'm going to keep it at 3, continue, and I'm going to choose the large center column. Change my view layout, and now my view is set how I'd like it to be. I can scroll down to the bottom, click done, and this is what my new profile page will look like. And that's how you get your profile set up.